Happy Wednesday, everybody. I've got a really new book to bring to you. This one was just published and hot off the press. It is called V is for Voting, written by Kate Farrell and illustrated by Caitlin Kuwald. It's got a shiny new cover. I think that you're going to really enjoy this book because it's about something that everybody has been talking about a lot lately, which is voting. There is a national presidential election taking place on Tuesday, November 3rd, which is a little bit less than two weeks from today. So I'm sure that you've heard a lot of adults around you talking about voting and how important it is to them. So this book is a little bit about voting and it's told through an alphabet, which I think is pretty fun. So I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. V is for voting. V is for voting. A is for active participation. B is for building a more equal nation. C is for citizens' rights and our duty. D is for difference, our strength, and our beauty. E is for engagement, we all need to care. F for a free press to find facts and share. G is for govern, to lead and to guide. H is for homelands that we've occupied. I is for inching ahead bit by bit. The march is a long one, but we cannot quit. J is for judges. They're meant to be fair, to be neutral, unbiased, objective, they swear. K is for knowing that you can take part. L is for local, and that's where you start. M is for matter, and every vote does. N is for never forgetting what was. O is for onward, keep progress in sight. P is for protest, when we need to fight. Q is for questions, I've got one or three. R is for represent, they work for me. is for suffrage, the right to vote. This fight is ongoing, not history's footnote. T is for talented teachers in schools. Well-informed citizens don't suffer fools. Yay to the teachers at Gateway, yay! You is for unbought, unbossed, undeterred. V is for voting, to make your voice heard. W is working for change, win or lose. X marks the spot on the ballot you choose. Y is for you. We need everyone's hand. Z is for zeal. Please bring yours. Take a stand. And that is the end of this really short but very fun book about voting. And I think that I'm going to read to you a little bit at the end here from these wonderful pages that have information. In the United States of America, we can influence the direction our government takes with our participation. Voting is one very important part of that.
But even if you aren't old enough to vote in an election yet, you can still participate. How can you do that if you can't vote? Let me tell you. You can make your voice heard. Your city council person, your mayor, your state legislator, your governor, your representatives and senators in Congress, your president, they all work for you. Even you, if you're young, they still work for you. You can write a letter or make a phone call to tell them what is important to you. The addresses and numbers are easy to find online. You can also ask your parents or teachers if you need help. 